Good afternoon. Today we're going to be showing you how to fit the R380 front carpet set. Let's have a sort of look through what you get in your kit. In the kit, you've got your seat box paces, your floor mats, passengers and drivers, your gearbox tunneling, your footwell above your pedals, just beside the driver's door. Your bulkhead bit that goes around the bulkhead and underneath your fuse board and your passenger's footwell and your passenger's corner cap. Also in the kit you will have a gear gator, handbrake gator, three cable ties and some black fir tree studs. Also a roll of self adhesive sticky tape. Now your vehicle. We've prepped our vehicle but you're going to need to do the same. So that's strip everything out as you can. You can leave the seat belts in, the carpet will fit around them. But making sure you've stripped all the rubber mats and out, everything around the footwells, all around the bulkheads and everywhere. Once you've got everything out, a good hoover. A really good hoover would be recommended. We've done this and now we're all ready to fit the carpet. So step one, as I said, you're gonna to wanna to fit the carpet to this part. This is what the piece of carpet looks like. At the ends, it's got little cutouts and they're designed to be folded into here. So it creates a nice, neat finish. So with the self-adhesive, you're gonna to want to cover all three surfaces. So, get around on this surface what I what you know, what I normally do is because it's hard trying to get the tape along there is I actually stick it to the back of the carpet. So what I do is carefully peel off the edge of the back of the tape, put that to one side and do this one at the same time. You want to make sure, I've my stock already, you get equal length either end of this and hold this side and stick it down. Once you've got it to there, peel off your last surface. And stick it round and just gradually work the piece of carpet on. Okay now we've got this stuck down you've got the three edges so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to tuck them in. Using a flathead screwdriver just very carefully push that in and it creates a nice finished end. Step two, now you're gonna to wanna to fit the seat box carpet. 
I was going to lay it in place so you can see roughly where it goes and where you need to use the self-adhesive tape. The carpet only covers half of the seat box per side. So it gives you the idea where you need to use the self-adhesive tape. As you can see, I need to go across the top and down the front of the seat box. With a self-adhesive tape, I'm going to try and get nice even spacing. across the vehicle. One of the things I don't generally tape down is the gearbox cover, because if you need to get into the gearbox, it means you've got to try and untape your carpet and just leave the edges so they flap up. And generally, if you've got a second uh, center seat, sorry, or a cubby box, it will help it keep it secured down. you have a fuse box cover. You don't want to tape right up to the edge because the fuse box cover will slide in just underneath the carpet. So you want to create, leave a little bit of a flap on each of the edge. You want to put a bit of tape along here. making sure you've got all the tape nicely pressed down and then you want to go down the sides of the seat box as well so you've covered all surfaces at the front and now you want to cover the surfaces down this side as well now <coughs> got all that tape you're ready to put your carpet in okay step three putting in this bit of carpet generally what you will do is make sure when you get it in you get it all lined up along the back making sure it's nice and smooth along the back here and along here in the carpet there is little holes cut out with little inserts of carpet with a pair of scissors you just want to snip the little tag that holds a bit of carpet in and that will line up with your seat holes. Once you're happy, put a little bit of weight on the carpet so it can't move. And then start to peel off Probably your first two lines of stealth adhesive just to help you get the carpet into place. Smooth it down, work work the carpet into all the areas where you want it to go and then once you're happy curl the carpet up from this side and pull your next two lines off Bring the carpet back. A little bit of firm pressure, just along where the tape is, 
making sure the carpet is going to be firmly bonded to that tape. Along the front, I've got this bit of tape here. Go back, making sure you've got a nice distance all around your bolt holes. And just work the carpet so you've got a nice bond with the tape. So now you've stuck along there, you've got this last strip here. So again, you're going to peel up and just work the carpet onto the tape. Now you've got the main body of the carpet stuck down, you're going to want to move to the front of the seat box. So roll the carpet up, try not to undo what you've just stuck. And peel the first two lines of tape off. and just work the carpet down over the edge. And then go to your next two lines. working the carpet onto the tape. Once you've got the front edge done, you've now got this edge and the top and lining up that angle with that angle. So you want to create a nice seal. So this bit does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. On this one, instead of peeling it, couple off at a time, you're going to peel it all off. So what you're going to do is you're going to try not to pull the carpet because you'll overstretch that gap. You're just going to close that gap up there, hold it, and with your right hand, work your way along the front. Once you're happy, smooth your way to the back of the seat box. For the last bit, Peel off your last two bits of uh, tape. For the corner, like I said, you want to get make sure you get a nice, a nice join. You want to get a nice join all the way along this seam. And then just work the carpet onto the tape.
and there you have your one part of your seat box carpeted. Okay, step three, you're gonna to wanna to trim on the handbrake uh, gator and handle. It is all cut out, so there is, again, like with the uh, seat bolt holes, there is just a little bit of cutting. With a pair of scissors, once you've got that cut, it's gonna tuck nicely around the handbrake gator, around the handbrake, and around the bottom. And that is how you trim around your handbrake. Okay, the next step is fitting the passenger side. It is exactly the same as the driver's side in reverse. So there's nothing different, nothing extra you've got to think about. Again, you're just gonna plonk it in, like I did with that one, with the tape, line everything up, and go from there. Okay, now we've fitted the seat box, we're gonna be moving on to the bulkhead. So you're gonna be putting carpet onto here, up here, and obviously the main bulkhead. What you're gonna to need to do is here, there is this metal strip. So you're gonna to need to get your screwdriver. And take it out. Keep your screw somewhere safe. Just at the top here, there is your interior light switch for your doors. So there will be some wiring. Just want to be a little bit careful with that. Bring out the slack until it goes tight. And just remove that to one side. So here, you're going to be fitting this piece of carpet. And that goes in. In like that and tucks around so okay now we're going to tape up along the front along here Now you've got all the tape in place, you're going to want to start putting the carpet in. So you want to start from this edge here and work your way around. So you're going to want to unpeel the tape. Get your piece of carpet. So the cut edge always goes to the top. Get that seated very nicely and tight as you can up against the door sill. Just make sure your carpet is stuck to the tape. Once happy, peel off. Or you have a bit of tape. While holding this edge, work the piece of carpet around. So it fits. Nicely. into there 
and then you want to re-screw re that into place. Once you've got your top screw in, probably use a little rattle, push into the hole, and it'll help you find where your screw's got to go. And then repeat down the bottom hole. Now we've got that bit of carpet stuck in, we're moving on to this piece, which goes around the bulkhead and under your fuse board. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is here and here, you've got two screws. I've already slackened them off, but with a Phillips screwdriver, you wanna just leave it just so you can just wobble the fuse board um, and leave it at that. With this, it goes across the gearbox tunneling and tucks it up and under. What you're gonna wanna do for a pair of scissors is just put a little slit into here, just so the carpet can just tuck around the screw. Get yourself all lined up. Find where your bit of cut carpet's gotta be cut. A little slit in helps tuck the carpet around once you're happy and once you've got it stuck in place you can tighten the screw back up now we're going to show you how tape it up okay now we're going to put the tape in now you've got it all all the tape stuck in place you're ready to put the carpet back in like with a notch easier to start up here and then work your way down and around making sure you get all the slack out so slide that over there and probably want to pull first couple of bits of tape off. Making sure you get a nice tight fit around the back of the gearbox tunneling. Up and over, and then gradually work your way around. When it comes to the other side, we will show you how to deal with the uh, bonnet release clutch. But now that there is nicely stuck in place. Now you've got all this side stuck on, you're ready to put the carpet onto here and round here. It is with this piece of carpet, you wanna to go to the widest bit at the top and underneath your dashboard, there is a metal piece of trim. The carpet, will tuck up underneath that. Now we're all taped up, what you want to do is for the first bit is 
unpeel your first part of the tape to about there. Once you've got the tape back there, you want to go tuck this front edge in. Push it up as far as it'll go and then work your way back. Once you've got, your, once you've got it to that there, remove the rest of your tape. Push in the carpet. Into the edges. As you come down. And that is your footwell carpet fed. Now we've finished off this side of the bulkhead. So one thing you're gonna have to do is remove the bonnet release catch, which is held by sorry, two terminal nuts. Um, we can't put the holes in the pattern for the carpet due to the fact that this varies from age of Land Rover. Sometimes it's slightly higher up or lower down. So this is the only thing you're gonna have to cut and put holes in yourself, but we will show you how to do that. So first of all, let's get the latch out of the way. There you are left with the two studs. So what you're gonna do with the carpet, is you're gonna put the carpet into position and you're gonna put a bit of pressure onto the studs. With a standing knife, Very carefully, make sure your fingers are out of the way. Put a little slot in. Okay. Once you've got the two holes here, you also need to do like you did the other side and put a little slot into the carpet so it goes around the fuse box. Once you've checked, you're happy with the, the seat of the carpet, you're now ready to start putting in your double-sided tape. Okay, now we've got the tape on, what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel the first two strips off. And then we're gonna tuck in the first part of your carpet behind the fuse board. Once you're happy with that, continue around the rest of the bulkhead. Now the carpet is fitted, you're going to want to put back your bonnet release catch. So. 
Okay, now we're going to do the corner piece. So what you're going to do is exactly the same as you did on the passenger side. You're going to remove the three screws, move the cover to one side, and you're going to fit this in. Remembering that the cutout goes at the top, and you need to get it as tight as you can to the rubber door sill, and then gradually work it round, making sure you've got your tape in nice, tight, especially on the corners. And then when you go to put it back on, like we showed in the, in the other part, later on in the video, using the rattle, you're gonna to need to help line your screw holes up and then put your screws back into place. Once you've completed this part of the uh, fit in the carpet, you're ready to move on to the, above the pedal box, which is all up here. You're gonna have this piece of carpet, which will have all of the cutouts that you will need for all your pedals. So with a pair of scissors, all you need to do is just carefully cut tabs. Now you've cut out <clears throat> all the tabs for your carpet, you're going to want to offer it in. Okay, so we've cut out the holes in the carpet set. You may need to do a little bit of extra tweaking and cutting around various objects depending on your vehicle. But before you do that, you're going to offer it into place to see how things line up. I'm going to try and get all the holes around the pedals. Again, like the other side, you have a metal strip. So the top edge of the carpet is gonna to want to tuck under that metal strip. And then once you've got the carpet in the top of the metal strip, generally and slowly, just work your way back with the carpet, just fitting it in place. Getting it around all your pedals. Just making sure you're happy with the fitment before you stick it down. Okay, now we've got it all taped up. There's certain areas where I tape. Um, so I only tape here and over this side. I try not to put any tape mainly around the main pedals otherwise it makes the carpet a bit tight and when you're using your pedals it may restrict them so you will remove your first bit of tape and get your carpet set offered up Slotting the carpet into that slot at the top, making sure you pull it up as far as it'll go, and gradually work the carpet towards the back of the bulkhead, pushing the carpet onto the tape, making sure it gets good contact. Once you're happy, top part of the carpet is in place you will want to remove your last bits of tape and again pushing the carpet up as you go along working it into the edges
there you have your pedal carpet fitted. Okay, now we're going to be fitting the gearbox tunneling. To get the direction of your gearbox carpet, there is this little sewn pleat. This goes towards the seat box and it will roughly sit here. So you're going to be working from both sides of the vehicle to make sure you get a nice seat. You're going to slot the carpet over the top. Slide it down beside the handbrake. Get it seated along the back. Then you go down to the front and slot it underneath the fuse board and tuck down. While you're this side, you're going to put your hand up, push the carpet into the corners and work it down. Once you're happy, with that side, with a little bit of self-adhesive, you can put a couple of strips. You don't have to remove the full carpet if you don't want to. There's enough play in it to fold it up. Again, like we did the other side, a couple of lines of tape and work that bit of carpet onto the tape so it creates a nice stick. Okay, now we're going to be fitting the gear gator. In the kit you'll get one gear gator. What you're going to do is you're going to turn it roughly inside out. I've already done this so you can see what we're doing. Once you've got the gator like that, you're going to put it over the main gear selector first. So you're just so far on and you're just past the threads. Also in the kit, you'll have a cable tie. You're gonna put the cable tie around. Tie, pull it as tight as you can. Once you've got the cable tie in place, you're gonna to wanna to snip it off. So that leaves no sharp edges and then Gently pull the gate up back down on itself. Once you've got the gate there, you now want to do the same process with your high and low. You may need to take it out, put it into low, put the gator over the top with your cable tie, go around, pull it tight and again snip off the edge. Work the gator down through. Okay, we've now got the ha the gators onto the gear sticks. You're now going to want to set it around the gear selector surround. On the surround, there is a little lip which the gator will slide over. On the gator itself, there is a piece of elastic which will hold it all in place. So you're going to want to hook it over and work your way all the way around until the gate is seated firmly and you are happy. Then you can reapply your gear, gear knobs. Now we're going to be fitting the handbrake gator. Like you did with the gear gator, you're going to want to turn it inside out. 
just so you can get to the top on the underside to put the cable tie around. So you want to slot that over the handbrake. So you're at the end of the handbrake sleeve, which is the, uh, the handle, and then you're going to want to put your cable tie around, making sure you've got enough material onto the cable tie, and pull tight. Once you're happy with the seat button there, snip off the end of the cable tie and then you want to pull the handbrake gator down push it up where you need to so it creates a nice seal at the top you may need to let the handbrake off to help you seat it in place once you're happy with the general alignment, with a rattle on the side of the handbrake, there is a hole. You're going to line your handbrake gator up roughly with that hole and put a hole through your gator to go into that hole. You may need to just carefully snip that out with a little bit of with a pair of scissors just to make it a little bit bigger. Do some little snips all the way around rather than doing one big snip. Also in the kit, you get a black fir tree. You're going to push that. through the gator so it comes through and into the hole and there is your handbrake gator fitted now your carpet set 90% done you're going to want to do is go back to seat box on the seat box you have these flaps. With a pair of scissors, you're gonna to want to just trim. There's two little bits where you need to trim. So it exposes your fuse box or your battery cover like you would have on the passenger side. Then you wanna basically refit your fuse box lid. down and repeat for the other side. Now we're going to be fitting the hill mats. The last bit you want to be putting into your vehicle once you've got all your carpet in. To ident identify which side is which, look at your floor mat, look at your floor area and you'll be able to see the rough pattern in the floor. Then you'll be looking at your floor mats and you'll be able to distinguish which is your driver's side and which is your passenger side. So fitting the driver's side, you want to tuck it up under your pedals so it sits nicely. Push it down at the edges. That there is your driver's side floor mat fitted. Now we're going to be again fitting the passenger side footwell mat. Like you did with the driver's side, you can see the contours of the bulkheads, the gearbox, and you can see the contours of the carpet. It will line up how you want it to, fit it in. And there you have your R380 Premium front carpet set fitted to your Land Rover.